Hi everyone, Lewis here. Welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a time to me I want to talk about. I am autistic and my case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today I'll be talking about and reviewing the 1993 movie What's Eating Gilbert Grape, starring Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio. And no footage from this movie will be used to avoid copyright issues here on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by What's Eating Gilbert Grape itself, which the movie is about Leonardo DiCaprio, who plays an autistic teen named Arnie Grape, with Johnny Depp playing his older brother Gilbert. They both live with their mother, who's morbidly obese, named Bonnie Grape, played by the late Darlene Cates, with their sisters Amy and Ellen. They also have another brother who left them, and their father, who died a long time ago after taking his own life. Arnie has classic autism symptoms, including acting childish, getting into trouble, including climbing trees, while his older brother Gilbert has to take care of him and his sisters. It's not easy when dealing with a parent or sibling with a disability. For this role, Leonardo DiCaprio had to do some research, including learning how to act childish. Arnie is an example of someone on the spectrum, including understanding some of the things he does are dangerous and don't have a awareness of danger. One point in the movie, he climbs a ladder of a water tower, which the police try to get him down, but Gilbert uses the bullhorn to get him down safely. I will do a separate video talking about autism and danger awareness. Arnie enjoys playing in the bath until he's left in the bath one day shivering cold. Arnie also hits himself on the head and has meltdowns sometimes. There's one moment where Arnie is crying after his mother yells at him. This happens when someone doesn't understand, especially since Arnie doesn't understand that the death of his father wasn't a laughing matter. Arnie climbs the water tower again, but this time making it all the way to the top. But his past attempts ended in failure and gets arrested by the police after being warned not to climb the water tower with his mother being embarrassed. Arnie also ruins his cakes. The first one that one of his sisters made and the other she ordered and Gilbert picked up at the supermarket and tries to run away from his bath until Gilbert gets into a fight with Arnie, hitting him several times. Then he runs away to the girl who acts as a love interest for Gilbert, played by Juliette Lewis, and she helps him overcome his fear of the water. Then we fast forward to his birthday where Gilbert tries to make amends with his mother for his actions. Arnie is having a good time interacting with the children at the party. Then later they lose her after she died, forcing them to set the house on fire and starting over again. Even though Arnie has his moments in the movie, he still loves his brothers, sister, and mother. I can relate to Arnie as some of the things he has done. The moment where Arnie cries includes when he killed a grasshopper by accident while playing with it and the mailbox. Also, Arnie doesn't understand the concept of death not being funny and discovering his mother had passed away. These were sad moments in the film and I might consider making a video about being autistic and dealing with death. What's Eating Gilbert Grape is a great film to watch and some of the moments I can relate to Arnie, like when I was younger, I didn't understand about danger, which sometimes I, I still do things I have to be careful with. And lastly, I used to run away from my parents when they tried to make me take my meds when I was younger.
Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, when heading out, wear a mask in places that require you to wear a mask. Such as schools, public transportation, and other establishments that require masks currently. Wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, get vaccinated, and of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together.